What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be talking about a couple of solutions to crashes while you're playing Hogwarts Legacy or even not being able to start it up at all. It's sort of a two-in-one general crash guide to improve the game's compatibility with your PC. That being said, there could be some really weird edge case with your specific hardware causing the game to crash and either driver updates will fix this or there'll be an update to the game later on that fixes this issue entirely. Do check forums and things like that, especially the Steam forums. You can hit shift tab at any time, then click discussions down at the bottom right here to get to the discussion section where you can learn about performance issues and things like that. This guide is once again, just a general fix guide. So things may or may not help you. Hopefully they do. If you're able to play the game, but it crashes randomly, it's probably an issue with VRAM or certain areas requiring too much to be loaded in. Then other areas, it's an easy fix. Just try lowering your graphics options. If I head across to settings, then graphics options, it's the one with the mountains on the screen, you'll see in here, one of these options is texture quality. It affects VRAM as well as view distance quality here. These are the two major options that you'll more than likely need to lower if you're running out of VRAM and the game is crashing or very unstable because of it. These two options are going to improve the compatibility the most, though in general, you can pick a lower preset here or follow an optimization guide if you'd like to claw back some quality and playing on low helps you. But regardless, lowering settings if you're able to play the game is usually a good call, especially ray tracing options at the very bottom here. If those don't help you and you can still play the game, on the display options tab, try changing it between full screen, full screen windowed and windowed mode here as different ones may give you better compatibility. If your graphics card isn't compatible with DLSS and you have DLSS selected, try playing with FSR2 instead. It'll give you the same results, but it is far more widely compatible compatible and you can use it on pretty much any PC. Nvidia Reflex low latency may cause issues for you. You can set this off here. And at the very bottom, you can select a GPU. If you have more than one GPU in your system, make sure the more powerful one of the two is selected in game. And of course, it has a direct connection to your monitor that you're trying to play on. But let's say you can't even start up the game in the first place. What do we do? Well, obviously, first of all, the best idea is to update your graphics card drivers. Nvidia, AMD, and Intel will all be linked in the description down below. It's a very simple process. Head across there, select what graphics card you have, download, install, reboot your PC, and hopefully things will be working a bit better. This will especially improve over the next few days as graphics card manufacturers push out new updates for Hogwarts Legacy and newer titles. On top of this, if you have NVIDIA GeForce Experience or software like that that manages your drivers, you can try updating through there instead. The next best thing to improve compatibility for games is to disable any unnecessary overlays. And of course, software that interacts or monitors games. This can be anything from FPS counters to Corsair IQ, Razer Synapse, Asus Armory Crate and things like those. Those bits of software usually interact with games at least a little bit and have been known to cause crashes. If you have overclocking of any kind, CPU, GPU, RAM, it's probably a good idea to turn those off or at least lower your overclocking to see if that improves compatibility with this game. As for other software that interacts with it, as I previously mentioned, overlays. Everything from Steam to Discord has an overlay that likes to draw on top of your game and with too many of them at once, you can definitely suffer some serious performance issues and of course, crashes if things get too bad. If I open up Discord here, click user settings in the bottom left, then scroll down and select game overlay. Inside of here, you'll want to just turn this off entirely and that should hopefully improve things in game. If you find that you have a really low end graphics card, such as on a laptop, turning off hardware acceleration, in other words, GPU acceleration for other programs, such as Discord, maybe even your browser, is a good idea. Though an even better idea is closing anything that you don't need entirely. Head across to advanced all the way under app settings and inside of here, turn off hardware acceleration here. That may help compatibility with games. It'll use more CPU when you're using Discord and tabbed into it instead of using your GPU. On top of this, anything that records your screen, such as OBS, may hook into the game, but something is built into Windows that may be recording games right now in some kind of 
shadow play way where it records a few minutes and if you hit a certain combination, it'll save the last few minutes of gameplay. For me at least, this was enabled by default, I don't remember turning it on, that is Windows Game Bar. Hit start and G and if you see a pop-up, which you don't currently, change my settings, this pop-up here, you have Windows Gaming enabled. If we head into settings at the very top, we can go to capturing and turn off recording in the background while you're playing a game here. You can also get here by opening up normal settings, heading across to gaming, then Xbox Game Bar, turning this off here, and under captures, we'll be turning this off as well. There may be options here for you, otherwise hit start and G and turn them off there. This is Windows 11, so things may be slightly different for you on Windows 10, but they're still pretty easy. Finally, if you haven't already, it's a very good idea to verify the game files, especially if something like an antivirus could have messed with anything on your PC. Hogwarts Legacy in Steam, simply just find it, right click the game, properties, and under local files, over here, just click verify integrity of game files. This will run through all of the game files on your PC and re-download anything that's missing or corrupt. When it's done, fire up the game and hopefully things are a little bit better. Ultimately, it all comes down to driver compatibility. We can try running the game as admin, that may help improve things, but ultimately, if you're not at fault, then the best thing to do is just wait for a driver update at least. And of course, once again, check the Steam forums or discussions to find out any information from fellow community members about what could be causing the issue for you. This is just a general fix guide, and hopefully it helps you. Thank you all for watching, my name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!